I was working at Flagler Hospital, and at, at the time, you know, we were making about two fifty a month, and they had a, on payday, you had to go to the nurse, the administrator's office, and pick a check up. So this is why I said God intended for me to find it out. So I went to get my check this day, and they gave me the wrong check. And it, this was an LPN, and she was white, and she her check was bit more than mine. So I went to the supervisor's office, and I said, uh, I'd like to speak to you. She said, why? I said, I want to know why Jolie makes more than I do. So she said, oh, she's been here longer. I said, she has no business making more than I do. I'm an RN, and she's an LPN, and I should get more money than she does. She said, well, that's the way it is, and if you don't like it, let the doorknob hit you in the back. That's what she told me. So I came home, and I told my husband, I said, look, I can't stay on my job. I'm gonna, we were buying a house, and you know how, with a little bit of money, you had a mortgage and a, everything like this. So I told him, I said, I'm gonna have to get another job. I cannot work at the hospital anymore. He said, what happened? And I told him. So I told him, I said, I will get a job in the laundry, washing and ironing clothes before I will work for what she's paying me and she's getting more money. So he said, well, if that's the way you feel, you quit. And I quit working and I put in for private duty. So a month went by and she wouldn't give me any work. So I saw one person who I knew ran back and told them everything. You know, you always have one person tell them everything they know. So I, told, I saw in the grocery store and I said, uh, how is private duty at Flagler? This was at Flagler Hospital. And she said, oh, they're very busy. I said, well, they won't give me any work. But I'm a member of the American Nurses Association. And if they don't give me any work, I'm going to send and have an investigator come and find out why I can't get a job. I had a job the next day. And I've been working ever since. That made me, it made me angry. And then it was a sad thing to think that Somebody would make more money than you just because you were a different color. You know, that wasn't fair. I didn't think it was fair. I went to school, and then I passed the state board, and I felt that I was qualified to, to be paid, you know, for my work. And this is one reason, and I've never worked at a hospital since. That's why I joined the Civil Rights Movement, for equal pay for, for what you do. I was always afraid. Let me tell you. I think everybody was afraid, but we didn't show it because this is the way I felt. I was doing the right thing, and I was not breaking it. I was breaking their laws, but not any other laws. So I didn't feel like I was doing anything wrong. It was it was very right because this was was my God given right to be able to do what I wanted to do and go where I wanted to go as long as I was not breaking the law. You know, there were a lot of people who agreed, but they were afraid to say anything. I joined, I used to, during demonstrations, you know, we would, uh, i go downtown to, you know, after we did the, go to church and that they would speak, then we'd go downtown to the slave market and pray and sing. and. The, they had the dogs that jump out on you and the cattle rods and stuff like that. I experienced that. I didn't feel that I was making, d disobeying the law. They needed to be broken because some of them were not right. See, because my mother came up in, in an era where it was very segregated, and I thought since they didn't straighten it out, it was up to my generation to do something about it. And we had the courage to do it. You know, we were in bondage almost. That's the way I felt. Slavery was over, but we lived a form of slavery because we were told what we could do and denied things that we should have. So I'm happy that that's over. And the children in the next generation won't have to do that. You know, we paved the way for them, and now it's up to the young people to do it.